It is time now to tackle weather myths, where we're separating fact from fiction. Tonight we're wondering, can you really predict the weather from the birds and the bees? Brianna DiPilato joins us with the answer in today's fact or fiction story. Every year on February 2nd, we wait to hear if that groundhog has seen a shadow, and as the story goes, if he does, that means six more weeks of winter. Well, we all know that that's not true, but is there any truth in predicting the weather based on nature's surroundings? Toss out the thermometers, barometers, and satellites. Bring in the birds, bees, and flowers. Well, it's been said that long before we had the forecasting tools that we do now, many use their surroundings to predict the weather. Maybe you've heard of some of nature's old tips and tricks, like observing insects. If you don't see many bees out and about, it's believed that they're staying inside their hive because rain's on the way. Or if you notice birds flying low, a storm is brewing. So is there any truth to these myths? Kind of. Both of those are directly related to a change in the barometric pressure. Horticulturist Walt I Nelson. Had. They have learned that when it's a low pressure system coming in, there's going to be some funky weather. We better hunker down. Responding, not forecasting. Okay, but what about plants? The myth says flowers petals will open up when good weather's on the way, but they'll close when rain is coming. They're expressing something that you can see that is responding to a change in the weather. Again, Nelson calls that responding and adapting, not forecasting. You have to take those reports with a little bit of a grain of salt. So there is some truth to the myth that nature's changes may give you an indication of what's to come, but if you're looking for the next five-day forecast relying solely on nature, probably isn't your best option. Brianna DiPilato, News 10 NBC. Thank you.